All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm back and I'm here checking out the brand new version of the Technix client. If you don't know what the Technix client is, I've actually done a video on it before a couple of months ago, but they've come out with a new update today. So I'm going to be checking it out in this video. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing an account giveaway in this video. So if you want to go ahead and enter that, I'll leave all the details in the description down below. Just join the PvP RP Discord, go to the giveaways channel, and just react to the message on there. Also, guys, make sure to go check out my community tab post and let me know what the specs of your PC are. It's nothing malicious. I just want to see what kind of PCs you guys play Minecraft on. But yeah, without further ado, let's check out the Technics client. All right, so to install the new Technics client, we need to go over to their website. I'll leave the link to it in the description down below. So here's the new website. It looks really cool in my opinion. We've got some cool little animations here. Really clean website. It's really nice. And yeah, it just goes over all the mods and features in this client. And I'm going to be going over them all in this video. So if we scroll down here, go to downloads. And it's available for both Windows, Mac and Linux. Windows 7 Plus. We're going to go ahead and grab the Windows version. I'm on Windows 11 now. I've done the update. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's just open up Technics Client Installer. It shouldn't come up and say it's a virus because I believe they have signed the package now. So uh, yeah, it should be a legit signed program. So let's just go through the installer here. Just next, install, pretty generic installer. And then just press finish. And the Technics Launcher should open up. So here we are with the launcher. They've got a bit of a Halloween update going on right now. So it's all kind of orange themed. But yeah, it's a pretty nice launcher. So we've got all the news and stuff up here. We've got settings here so you can allocate your RAM and uh, mess around with all these options here. We've got a couple of their links down here. So we've got their Discord, which I'll leave in the description down below, their website and their store. If you want to go ahead and support this client, you can buy cosmetics on their store. They have so many different things to choose from. They've got bandanas, they've got ears, wings, cloaks, you name it. So yeah, let's go ahead and launch the client and uh, check it out. So here is the main client menu. We've got a cool little animation here. So yeah, when you first open the client, this is what you'll be greeted with. So we've got our accounts up here. They've now got an account switcher, which is really good. It supports both Microsoft accounts and Mojang. So you can log in and switch between them on this little menu here, which is really cool. So yeah, we've got a couple of options at the top here. So we've got the server status, their Minecraft options menu. We've got accounts, which is pretty much the same as this button here. We've got the Technics client mod menu, which you can actually open up from the main menu, but I'm going to look at that a little bit later in the video. We've got cosmetics here, so you can enable and disable all the cosmetics you have on this client. I've got my Notro cloak and some dragon wings, and if you want to purchase them, there's a handy little store button here. Languages menu, I don't really think anyone touches that. And then obviously a link to their store. There's obviously a quick button up here, Discord link down here, and single player multiplayer. Anyway, let's hop into a game and I'll show you guys the mods and features of this client. All right, so I just hopped into my game here and uh, yeah, let's check out the Technics client menu. So if we press right shift on our keyboard here, here is the kind of menu that we get. Now, one thing that I really like about this client is it's kind of like Windows. It's kind of like its own operating system within Minecraft. It's really cool. You'll see what I mean by this. So, for example, we've got all the kind of quick shortcuts down the bottom here. We've got the time and the date, which is a nice little touch. It's kind of like your taskbar in Windows. And then you can just click on these buttons. And uh, yeah, it's like a window, basically. You can drag it around. You can close it. You can also open up multiple kind of windows and drag them all around. It's really kind of cool in that sense because a lot of clients, they just have a menu, slap bang in the middle, and that's it. But yeah, so there's quite a lot of mods and features in this client. If I just scroll down the menu here, there's quite a lot of mods. I'm not going to go through all of them, but we've got some kind of global settings here. So you can change the color of the branding. So uh, yeah, you can make this pretty much any color you want. I kind of like this blue color we got here. We can enable and disable the GUI backgrounds. We can enable a shadow, which looks quite cool. We can play in borderless windows and uh, we've got a couple of other kind of miscellaneous settings here. To enable and disable a mod, you basically just click so that this bar at the bottom turns green. And all the mods have a settings button. So let's go ahead and look at the keystrokes here. So we just click, enable it, go to settings. You get a cool little preview here of what it will look like. You can make it any color you want. You can change the key press color as well. And one thing that's really cool, which I haven't seen in many clients, is you can actually change the border radius. So if I slide this all the way to the left here, 
as you can see, it's kind of squared off edges. But if I drag this all the way to the right, it kind of rounds off the corners and it kind of looks a bit like Salvia client actually, which is pretty cool. I do like the mods on there. You can also do this with the CPS as well. You can set the border radius and the color and mess around with all the settings here. And uh, same with the FPS. If you can't find a mod on this menu, there's a search bar here. So if I can just search here for the FPS mod and enable that, and we've got all the settings here. So it's cool they've got a cool little search button and they've also sorted the mods into categories at the top here. But yeah, there's so many mods in this client. If you're unsure what a mod is, there's a little description next to it. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to slowly scroll down and you guys can see all the mods that are included in this client. We have got 1.7 animations, so you can enable that. Now to move the mods around on your screen, you just need to go to this button here, position menu, and you can drag these around anywhere on your screen. We have got a bit of snapping here, so this can go directly in the center. We've also got some grid lines as well, so you can line up your mods nicely. I'm just going to put my CPS here. You can change the scale of the mods by going into the bottom right corner and dragging. You can make them bigger and smaller like that. And we can do the same with the CPS here so we can match them two up. And uh, yeah, it's pretty customizable GUI. And obviously we set the color ourselves of the logo in the middle here, which is quite cool. We've also got waypoints as well in this client. So if you play HCF or something like that, then waypoints could be useful. They've also added friends in this client, so uh, you can add friends. I've got Frosty, the owner of this client, as a friend, and you can message each other in game. She's not on right now, but if she does message me, then a little notification will pop up at the bottom right here, which is, again, kind of like its own little operating system. We've got different profiles as well on this client, so you can make new profiles and have a different set of mods on each one, which is a good feature to have. And we also have themes as well, which I'm not really too sure how it works, but you can open a folder, drag themes into there, refresh them, and uh, select them here. So yeah, it's a pretty good client, actually. It's really good. Considering one person made this, it's really impressive. It is unfortunately a client that is not for Cracked. It's premium only, and I don't think they're going to add Cracked options anytime soon. So it's a bit of a rip. But if you guys saw at the start of the video, I am giving away a Minecraft premium account. So you guys can go ahead and enter that. And uh, who knows, you might be playing Technics Client with your account that you've won. There's also free look available in this client. So if I just hold down left alt, I can look around me. Now, I don't recommend using this on Hypixel because I believe it is bannable. But if you use it on any other server or single player, you should be fine. Just make sure you disable it if you are a Hypixel player or if you're going to go on Hypixel. But yeah, that's pretty much it. They've got some kind of general options like motion blur, scoreboard, pack display, time changer, reach display, block overlay. And another really cool thing is if we go into resource packs here, not only have they got resource pack folders, which is a really useful mod for me, they've also got this cool thing here called random pack recommendation. So it scans your pack folder, picks a random pack for you. And if you're like me and you're always changing your pack and you're like, hmm, what pack should I use next? Just go into your resource packs. And it will tell you, why don't you try Comet 16X and you just find it and put it on. But yeah, that's basically the client. I think it's pretty cool. It's probably like one of my favorite clients out right now. It's really nice. But yeah, I'm going to go hop into a game now, play some Bed Wars and Sky Wars with the client, see what it's like in PvP. All right, so I just hopped into a Bed Wars game here and we're going to be playing some Bed Wars with the Technics client. So it's still running really well. I've had a chance to go through and set up all my mods how I want them. So I've got my keystrokes, my CPS, that kind of stuff. And I've made it all the same color, which you can do quite easily with this client by just going into the modules, going into say FPS display, finding the color here, control A, control C, and then just finding say FPS display, control A, paste it in there. It's pretty good. Although there was a feature on, I think it was one of the Pwn's cheap breaker HUDs where there was a button that you could press and it would do it for you. So maybe that could be something that they add in the future, maybe. So yeah, let's go for reds here. Let's get some PvP action in. Let's try and speed bridge. I've actually got an iron sword here. Let's do some PvP. There we go. So yeah, we've got the old school animations. So they go fully red when they're hit, which is really good. What is he doing? Is he just giving up? Oh, got a bit of a lag back there. Let's just break his bed. And... Uh, Okay. Okay. Somehow killed him there. I'm really rusty right now. My hands are pretty cold. So yeah, let me know what you guys' favorite client is because I'd be interested to know. 
I know a lot of people use different clients because I feature so many on my channel. So it'd be interesting to see what you guys' favorite client is out of all the ones that I've done a video on. Oh, he's risking it. Oh, he's risking it. He's risking it. I've taken no KB. What's going on? Oh my God. That was so close. Also, as you can see, if I go into F3 here, we've got a pretty unique font, actually. Normally, they just use the standard Minecraft font, but they've got a kind of little Technics font going on here, which is pretty cool. And also, we've got the Technics logo down the bottom as well, which uh, you don't really see on many clients, especially in the debug menu. Oh, he's here. I just... Like, what is the KB on this server? Is it just fully broken right now? Because... I wasn't taking any KB in the last fight, and he's not taking any now, so I don't know. It's a bit sus, this server. He's got Obby. Are you serious? Yes, we've got his bed. Okay, I'll take that, as long as he's a final. So one thing I want you guys to do is I want you to go over to my community tab and uh, write what your specs are in the post. I'll leave it on screen right now. And yeah, so just go over to there and write in the comments if you know what the specs are of the computer that you use. Because I'd be interested to know. Because basically what I'm going to do is I might be making a video soon where I buy like a low-end system. So I'd be interested to see what specs you guys' PCs are. So that I can try and do some uh, FPS boosting magic and see if I can make low-end PCs. So I can see what kind of optimizations I should do. Oh, this guy. This guy. And <laughs> we still killed him. Oh. Okay, where is Yellow? I don't know where he's gone. Oh, he's here. Well, <laughs> that's a win for me. GG. So, yeah, that was Bed Wars with the Technics client. Yeah, it's really good in PvP, honestly. It feels really smooth, really good FPS, and the PvP experience is pretty good. All right, let's go play some Sky Wars now. I just realized I haven't been recording. But, yeah, that's pretty much going to be the video, guys. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading very much recently. I've been kind of taking week breaks here, there, and everywhere. And I'm sorry about that. The main reason is I've just lacked video ideas. I know client videos, I can do them literally forever. But I kind of want to do something different, like stuff to do with tech, PCs, and uh, FPS boosting. Because I know a lot of you guys like those kind of videos. And they do help a lot of you guys out. So obviously I came up with the idea of buying like a low-end system. And seeing what kind of FPS boosting stuff I can do with it. So let me know what kind of specs you have, whether you've got like a model of laptop or something. And I'll kind of do an average of all the responses that I get on my community tab post and see if I can get a PC with those specs and see what I can do with it to try and make Minecraft run well. But yeah, that's basically going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Make sure to check out Technics Client. All the links will be in the description down below. And yeah, thank you guys all for watching and uh, I will see you again very soon. Peace out.